Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. So glad to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And if you're tuning in for the first time, folks, feel free to subscribe. And after you subscribe, be sure to hit that little bell icon. That way you get notified every time we issue an episode, which happens to be every Tuesday. And today, folks, I'm out here with everyone's favorite boatless angler. I've got Antonio with me today. And we're looking to have ourselves a good day. We're going to be fishing for channel catfish, folks. And uh, of course, I'm happy with a one, two, three pound channel cat, but we're hoping to get into some big ones. And what I'm running today, folks, I've got the pre-tied T-turn bait rig on, uh, number 7B. And it's a simple rig. It comes with the uh, authentic T-turn uh, itself. It's a big, uh, large size T-turn. And all I did is I snapped on a sinker and I've got a nice five odd hook. We're running cut bait today. And that's the rig, very simple. And out it goes. And you, Antonio? Got a sliding rig set up, so I've got the sinker slide. You went with the, you went with the Thunderbird sinker slide? To a, yeah, just a, a swivel and then about two feet to a five odd hook. Yeah, and I noticed just some before, beads. I yeah. got some beads. Yeah. And what do, you, what do you got the beads there for? Well, it's just so that the sinker slide doesn't bang up against my swivel. It's okay. Just, you don't need it, but I like it. Okay. All right. So two, two. There are two actually great systems for catching catfish. We're going to run both of them today. Uh, I think they're they're both going to be effective. Let's hope and see. And we're hoping to get into some real nice fish, folks. So, so glad you could join us. It's a beautiful day. We're hoping to have a great day on the water. <laughs> I just. I just heard a rod swing. <laughs> the boatless angler folks strikes first with the sliding sinker rig. Good bite? Very good bite. Yeah? Aggressive? Yeah. Doesn't feel that big though. Bullhead maybe? No, it's bigger than that. Okay. Oh, he's just swimming towards the boat. Yeah. Okay. Two anchors to contend with. Yeah, of course. Now, where's the net? We didn't even get the net ready here. We should have got the net ready. That didn't take too long. Okay, one hand on my rod, one hand on the net. Oh yeah, you, you got a good one. Yeah. You got a good one. I see your beads. <laughs> I, see your, I see your beads. What pound test line you running today? I have, I think 15 pound test, four carbon. 15? And 20 braid. And 20 braid, okay. The hook is the same as mine, right? Five aught? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good fish. It's a good start. Okay. We can get him in. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice fish. Nice color on him. Look at that. It's got to be about eight pounds. I'll let you lift them in. Nice fish. Let's get a look at this fish, folks. See what happens is these channel cats, they'll take the color of the water that they're in. So if the water's darker, they get a little darker. A little murky, they get like a yellowish kind of color to them. Let's see if I can move over here a bit. We got some cramped quarters here today, folks. Nice fish. What do you think? Eight? Oh. <laughs> you struggling? Struggling. Struggling. Nice channel cat. Yeah, eight, eh? eight or nine. Eight or nine. Nice colors to them. Big whiskers. Hey, look at the length of these whiskers. Huge whiskers on these fish. And that's what they're finding to, to find our bait. Eh? That's a sensor for them. Nice. Okay, the first one's always the hardest, folks. So that's a good sign. That means the fish are active today. And uh, hopefully we're going to get into a few more. That was that was really good. Yeah. Good start. <laughs> you got yourself another one. Yeah, that was almost immediate. Wow, you just, that's really good. I cast it in the exact same spot. That's the key. Yeah. And plus you freshened your bait up. I did, yes. Yeah, so in fact, I should probably freshen mine because it's been about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Probably a good time to freshen up the bait. But let's see what you got. That one looks a little bigger. It is. Not Good. not huge, but it's bigger. Okay, all right. Well these are these are nice catfish regardless, right? Yeah. What a bite though. He gave you a good bite? He just you know just a good it up and went. Just a good aggressive bite. I felt a little bump on mine, but it could have been a line bump. 
I love it when they bite like that and they just take it and run. Oh, you got a good one. Not bad, not bad. A little bit bigger. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, Antonio, that's a good fish. Yeah. I mean, come on. Look at that fish. That's a nice channel. He's over 10. He's definitely over 10. Oh, and guess nice. what? Oh, guess what, folks? <laughs> oh, wow. Just as I landed that fish, I just felt my rod go. I don't know if you heard me earlier where I said I had a bit of a, I thought it was a line bump. It wasn't a line bump. He must have picked it up and then he just started running with it. <laughs> we got a double going, Antonio. Well, let me get this guy out. Well, let's take a look at your fish. Let me get out of the way here. Oh, that's a beauty. How heavy do you think? Uh, maybe 10. About 10 pounds, 10, eh? 11 pounds, yeah. Okay, that's a beauty. Look at the colors. Nice color. See what I mean about the yellow? The water's kind of brownish, yellowish. Now, when they come in from the lake, they're all gray because the lake water, of course, is clear. And they're sitting on the bottom. And they take the color of the more or less the color of the bottom of the water. This feels like is it good. Feels like a good fish. Now I'm also running 20 pound test braid as Lake Antonio is, but the T-turn bait rig, folks, it comes with 25 pound test fluorocarbon. So I'm good to go for these big fish. This doesn't feel huge. Probably about another. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get them in here. Oh, actually, nice. Oh, he's, good. he's rolling, and that's where the T-turn comes in. No line twist, no tangles. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Not ready. No, he's not ready at all. Actually, that's a decent fish. Catfishing, folks, this brings us right back to the basics. Right back to the basics, catfishing. Most of us grew up catching catfish and sunfish, and here we are, later on in life, enjoying the same things we did as a kid. Granted, bigger fish. <laughs> Oh, this feels like a good fish. Well, we saw him. It is a good fish. Get him in. Head first. Oh, that's a bigger fish. We're going to get a weight on that one. What do you think? 12, 13? I'd say he's 13, 14. 14. He's going to be close to 15 pounds. Okay. Let's get this guy. I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say this guy's 15. He's got to be 15 pounds, folks. Look at this fish. Big head, big body. He's not that, well, he's not, he's four. Let's get the Ikea bag out, Antonio. Let's get the bag out. All right. You got it? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say 14, 15 pounds. That's my guess. Got it. Oh, and the, and the, the weight scale just turned off. So let's get it back on again. We'll set it to pounds. Just for the heck of it, we're going to weigh this fish. That's kilos. I want pounds. There we go. Oh, actually, I was off. He's 18. He's just over eight, 18 and 18 and 18 and a half pounds. It's 18. <laughs> I thought it was 15. That's an 18 pounder, folks. Actually, he did look, it looks really big, but because he wasn't as thick as I thought, there's an 18 pounder right there. That's a dandy. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a nice double header we had there. All right, we'll get him back in, in the water. Wow. I thought so for a minute there. That's a nice channel cat. All right, so now I'm gonna freshen up my bait because it's been 20 minutes. That's three fish already. Keep the bait fresh. Get my line out of the net and right back out there again. What a start. Yes. Yes. I'm not Antonio. Nice. See that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, but oh, but you know what? After setting the hook on that 18 pounder, this one doesn't feel as heavy. Still feels nice, but he's no 18 pounds. At least I don't think so. Sometimes it's deceiving. <laughs> 
But you know, I mentioned we're using cut bait, folks. There's a general rule of thumb I like to use when it comes to cut bait. If you're fishing early spring, like cold water or late fall cold water, I like to downsize on my cut bait. You know, two inches. I'll even go down to a little one inch piece. Uh, or if there's a cold front condition, I'll go smaller with my cut bait. As the water warms and the weather warms and the conditions get better, then I'll go with a bigger piece of cut bait. Three inch, four inch, make a nice big piece of cut bait. This one's not that big. Nice though. Let's see if we can get them in the net. Okay. Small one, maybe four pounds. Yeah. Three, four pounder, nice little. This is actually a good eater. If you like to eat catfish, folks, that's a good eater. In fact, I got a great little recipe I do for catfish on the barbecue. I'll put a link here for you, you can check it out. But let's get this guy, where's the needle nose? Let's get this guy off the hook real quick. We got the needle nose handy, look at that. Isn't that a nice channel cat, folks? Now, nowhere near that 18 pounder, but like I say, if you are if you like to eat catfish, that's a nice size right there. We'll get him right back in. I'm gonna keep this needle nose handy. The needle nose is great, folks, for taking those hooks out of the fish's mouth. It just makes it a little bit easier, gives you a little more leverage. And we're hoping to get into some more fish, so time to bait up. Okay, right back in the same spot, folks. Very, very important. Keep fishing the same area, keep that scent in the area. And that's the beauty, when you catch a fish, you automatically change your bait and freshen it up. You're always getting fresh scent out there. Okay, time to sit back, relax. See if we can get ourselves into another bite, folks. You got it. Yeah, that was a good one. Hey? Yeah. Nice bite. Good bite. Good hook set. Let's hope for a good fish. I switched over to my bait caster just for fun. Oh, did you switch rods? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see that. Oh, you like using the bait caster too, right? The yeah. advantage with the bait caster, of course, you could run. Heavy, uh, heavy mono or heavy fluorocarbon line. I'm just running the spinning. I've got a seven, six and a half foot rod, medium action. Yours is seven? Mine's seven and a half, I think. Seven and a half, a little bit longer. It's a good range for catfish, six and a half to seven and a half. He's got some weight. He does. You, I think you got a good one. I'm thinking you got a good fish. He's not taking any runs yet though. Nah, he doesn't know he's hooked yet. <laughs> wait till he wait till he finds out that he's hooked. Is your drag set? It's set. Okay, always good to check your drag. Ooh, I just saw a big boil. Big boil? Could be a good fish. It's gonna be a good fish. We'll get net ready here. Oh yeah, you had a fair amount of line out too. Ooh, another boil. Yeah. Didn't get a chance to see him though. Didn't get quite a chance to see him. Can't see him at all. The water's <laughs> chocolate brown. <laughs> if it was crystal clear, it'd be a different story. Yeah. But if it was crystal clear, those fish wouldn't be here. Right? Yeah. Let's see if we can get a look at him. See your sinker slide. Staying down. Never. There you go. See what I mean? Look at the boil there. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good fish. Okay, take it. <laughs> that, that's that could be another 18 pounder. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm thinking that is another 18 pounder, folks. Maybe even 20. Hey, that's uh, we're yeah. gonna get work. You know what, folks? We're gonna get a weight on this fish. Let's get a weight on him. Let's take a look at this fish. Let's check him out first before we weigh him. Look at that. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. I don't think he's as big as yours. No. He's thicker, but not uh, not as long. I'm going to guess 16. 16 pounds. 17. <laughs> you going to take a guess or no? 15 and a half. Okay, so you're going lighter than I am. Here, you can have the honors. There you go. Lift it up. Let's check it out. Oh, hang on. There you go. And the verdict? He's 16, nine. 16, 16 nine? 10. Almost 17. So we're right. We're both in the same neighborhood, anyhow. That's a nice fish. 
Okay, you're gonna have the honors of releasing them. These are good, big, heavy fish, folks. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. See, he's a little bit grayer. He's not as yellow. So this one might have just come in from the lake not too long ago because he hasn't really taken to the color of the water yet. Whoa. Okay. Nice. He's ready. <laughs> nice little splash. All right. This is just great fishing, folks. I'm loving it. Nice fish. Oh. <laughs> That was a nice bite. Oh, that was a nice bite, folks. I don't know if the cameraman was quick enough to get that on film or not, but just gave me a nice tug. Doesn't feel huge, but feels like another nice fish. You know what? If you're stressed, if you've got anxiety, or you want to get away from the day-to-day -day grind of the, the rush that we have, oh, rushing around at home, you want to relax a bit? Catfishing is the way to do it, folks, because... Whoa! Like a good one! What the heck is that? <laughs> Catfishing, folks, it's so relaxing. It's unbelievable. But he took a... That was a big run. He took a run like a, a salmon. What the heck? <laughs> this might be a good fish. But it really is. It really is relaxing. It's just you're out the fresh air. Out with nature. That's a nice fish. He's not huge, but that's it's pretty nice. That's a nice channel cap, folks. Nice colors on him. Let's, let's get him in. We grab my needle nose. We're gonna get him right off. Let's take a quick look at this fish. Oh, it's about an eight pounder, maybe. Hey. Yeah, nice one. Oh, the line's caught on him. Let's see if I can get this fish out. <laughs> lines wrap that's a nice channel cat look at that fish beautiful 